Emmanuel, Matthew 1, 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ telling others his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, can you introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and where you come from. Emmanuel! People of God, Emmanuel! My name is Agnes Njabili, Professor Agnes Njabili. I work at the University of Dar es Salaam as a professor of education. A University of Dar es Salaam, for those who do not know, is in Tanzania. You're welcome uh, in Jesus' name to the Synagogue Church for Nations and we want to rejoice with you we understand you have a wonderful testimony. Can you first of all share the problem that you were having before that made you come all the way to the Synagogue Church for Nations? Uh, people of God, the problem that made me come to the church, Synagogue Church of All Nations, Kwan, was double. First of all, I was having a rheumatoid arthritis and secondly I was having hypertension people of God these two issues had put me behind in many aspects first of all with the hypertension Everywhere I go, I had to carry a small machine to make sure that I check my blood pressure before I do any serious presentation. Otherwise, I was also taking drugs every ma morning for the blood pressure. People of God, for the rheumatoid arthritis I was having problems difficult in walking I could not climb stairs it was very difficult for me to perform my teaching career those who know the universe of Dar Salaam is actually nicknamed the hill meaning that it's on a hill press and every building in that place has stairs and stairs and stairs. Even coming from the parking lots, particularly the parking lot that I have been assigned, had stairs. So I would ask for student support sometimes to climb the stairs. My office was upstairs, I would have to climb stairs all in pain. More importantly, I was finding it very difficult to interact with my students during teaching time because you who are teachers and lecturers, you know the teaching atmosphere, a platform and then the students uh, at another level. I like teaching and I like interaction. So I was finding it very difficult to interact with my students when I get out of the platform to go to interact with the students I would find it difficult to go back then the students would support me it was very painful mm -hmm. so can you tell us for how many years you are suffering from these terrible problems of rheumatoid arthritis and hypertension which really uh, damaged your career as a professor um, <clears throat> for the hypertension, or you can say for both of them, it is more than 
10 to 12 years. It was a long time. In actual sense, the, the rheumatoid arthritis made me even change my job. I was teaching at the University of Namibia. In Namibia, there are two weather conditions, severe ones, the summers and the winters. During the winters is the time when I used to experience the difficulty in, work, in working mostly. So actually, I had to change my, my teaching career and go back to the University of Dar es Salaam. Of course, it was cheerful because University of Dar es Salaam is my home country. And due to this terrible problem, were you using any support or aid given to you by medical doctors? Uh, while I was in Namibia, I attended the many hospitals. While I was in Dar es Salaam, I attended the many hospitals. Actually, the treatment they used to give me for the rheumatoid arthritis was painkillers. And when it is very bad, they would inject me at the site of the knee so to sustain the pains or to reduce the pain so that at least I could perform. Thank God. So we understand you came to the synagogue church for nations and you were placed in the prayer line. Can you tell us what happened to you when the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, prayed for you? What was your experience? I was sitting down and the man of God came. When the man of God came, he touched me. I felt I can't explain the sensation I felt. Well, right now on the screen, we can see on the, the side of our screen exactly uh, what happened when the man of God, Prophet Tiba Joshua, prayed uh, for Professor Agnes uh, from Tanzania when she came with that problem of difficulty in walking uh, due to rheumatoid arthritis. We can see that he touched her in the power of the Holy Spirit, and we can see the action and reaction. Madam, can you tell us what happened in your own words? The man of God lifted my leg with his leg and I felt heat, serious heat run through me and he said, you are healed. Behold, what happened is I stood up and started running, not even walking, but running. Hallelujah. Well, we've heard it from our mother here who has said that the minute Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for her in the name of Jesus Christ, we said that we saw the reaction and action on the screen and she said that the pain instantly left her and she was able to stand up to her feet without any pain. Right now we can see her leg moving under the influence of the power of the Holy Spirit. What were you feeling at this point? Pardon? When, when my leg was shaking, I was having heat and sort of electric current running through the leg. Actually, not only through the leg, it was running through the body, but it concentrated on the, on the leg. Behold, all was over in a click of a second. Hallelujah! Amen. We know your problem may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. And we thank God that a new dawn came to your life through this powerful prayer in Jesus' name. Can you tell us, since that prayer, how has your life been? What are the changes in your health? Since that time, I have had no problem with my teaching career, with the interaction with the students, with anything. I've been doing very well. And my blood pressure is gone. I don't have to walk with machines going to conferences to check my blood pressure. I don't check my blood pressure in the morning any longer. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Well, we love you to demonstrate your healing in Christ Jesus. Can you walk for us confidently? and joyfully for the glory of God, showing us your healing.
Praise the Lord. Are you experiencing any pain or discomfort? Uh, no. Not at all. Hallelujah. Well, we really thank God for this wonderful miracle in your life and the change that has taken place in your situation. Viewers all over the world, they want to hear from you. After suffering for 10 to 12 years with this problem, what would you advise people who are suffering a similar problem and they feel there's no way out? People of God, one thing I would advise you and I would advise anybody who is looking at me is to exercise patience in the sense that since I knew uh, Emmanuel TV and uh, the synagogue church of all nations by watching videos and so on, my faith kept growing. Then I started looking for help of, in terms of how can I get here. It was not easy in the first place. I started in year 2011. I never got a chance. 2012, I never got a chance. 2013, the first part of the year, I never got a chance. The second part of the year, which was November, I was blessed to get the opportunity to come here. But it was not easy. You, I tended to lose patience. But I'll advise people who are watching me, everybody who wants to come to SCON, to exercise patience. Look, people. In the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 4, we read about some kind of impatience. God forgive me. The mother of Jesus was, I think to my interpretation, was a little impatient when at Cana of Galilee there was the problem of shortage of the, of the wine for the wedding. She approached Jesus. And Jesus said, My time has not yet come. So people of God, God's time is the best. Hallelujah. We've heard it from our mother here who has advised us that God's time is the best. We know that God's time, everything is beautiful. And also... Uh, we know that God's response is not for those in a hurry. We should not compare ourselves to others or measure ourselves by ourselves because there is an appointed time for everything that is going to happen to us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, we thank God. So does that mean that ever since you came here in November 2013, you've been strong and healthy for the glory of God? Very much so, as you can see me. Let's put our hands together for the Master Healer, Jesus Christ. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cette dame, cette dame qui est professeure d'université à Dar es Salaam en Tanzanie. Elle nous dit qu'elle souffrait du rhumatisme et de l'hypertension. Elle nous dit qu'elle prenait beaucoup de médicaments chaque jour à cause de son hypertension et à cause du rhumatisme. Elle avait beaucoup de douleurs atroces, ne lui permettant pas de faire normalement son travail. C'était même ses étudiants qui l'aidaient à monter les escaliers et pendant 12 bonnes années, elle a eu à souffrir de terribles arthroses, ce qui lui causait d'énormes difficultés à marcher. Par la grâce de Dieu, elle arriva finalement à la synagogue église de toutes les nations l'an dernier, plus précisément en novembre 2013. Et elle fut placée dans la ligne de prière où l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Tibi Joshua, a eu à prier pour elle. Automat automatiquement, elle a senti qu'elle était légère et a commencé par courir pour la gloire de Dieu. Son problème d'hypertension artérielle aussi a complètement disparu. Elle ne prend plus de médicaments. Elle est complètement rétablie et vaque normalement à ses occupations pour toute la gloire à Dieu. 
Los acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de esta mujer que viene desde Tanzania, profesora de profesión en una de las mejores universidades de Tanzania, pero ella sufría de artritis e hipertensión que afectaban su carrera como profesora en esta universidad, diciendo que no podía subir escaleras, se cansaba y tenía mucho dolor en el cuerpo, hasta que vino a la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones, recaudando también que ella eh, usaba un corset o una faja ortopédica en el, en el área lumbar para poderse ayudar y soportar sus movimientos debido al dolor que ella sufría. Fría, dice que vino a la sinagoga, iglesia y todas las naciones, donde fue puesta en la línea de oración el profeta Tim Joshua oró por ella en el poder del Espíritu Santo, haciéndola libre inmediatamente después de la oración. Gloria sea a Dios, cada día vimos caminando en la luz de su testimonio. www.goan.org Go to the Visit Us page and for those from within Nigeria you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click Send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at scoan.org We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel. God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a birth of son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ, to him out is his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV. God with us.